Hi, my name is Robert Irwin and my land care environmental project is about the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve, which is under threat of being strip mined. For one whole month every year, my family and I are lucky enough to call the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve home. It is located in far north Queensland in Cape York Peninsula. The Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve is 135,000 hectare property that is home to many rare and vulnerable plants and animals. It was given in memory of my dad, Steve Irwin, by the Australian Government and the National Reserve System program in 2007. The reason it is under threat is this. This is bauxite and this is what a mining company wants to mine. These little rocks make aluminium which we use in our daily lives. It's okay to mine, I'm not anti-mining. We do need mining but we cannot mine everything. I believe in responsible mining. Let me take you to the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve and show you why it needs to be protected. Let's go. The three main ecosystems that will be affected if mining takes place are the stringy bark woodlands, the perched bauxite springs and also the Wenlock River. This is a black-headed python. It relies on the tall stringy bark woodlands to survive. Isn't he gorgeous? This is dusty. This is a blue-tongued lizard. It also calls the tall stringy bark woodland home. These are just two of the many animals living in all the different ecosystems on the reserve that will lose their homes and possibly their lives if the mining takes place. These are some other animals and plants that would be affected if their homes are destroyed. Many are rare and threatened species that rely on these ecosystems to survive. Bauxite has a commercial and an environmental value. The commercial value is that it makes aluminium, which is a crucial material that is used to make many products we use, like cans, boats and cars. The environmental value is that it is a crucial part of the ecosystem. It is the substrate that the tall stringy bark woodlands grow on. It is like a natural filter and a sponge during the wet season. And in the dry season, the water held in the bauxite layer seeps out, providing water for the animals and plants, the Wenlock River and the perched bauxite springs. Each of the 35 ecosystems found on the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve depend on the bauxite layer to survive. This is one of the ecosystems that will be affected if the mining company mines the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve. It's the tall, stringy bark woodland. To get to the bauxite, which is what the mining company wants, they have to remove all of this. So first, they'll take away all of the trees, grasses and other plants. And then they'll take away all of the topsoil. And then finally, they can reach the bauxite. There's nothing left except for the Wenlock River. But what they're going to do if they mine, they'll be taking 20 million litres of the water from the Wenlock River to wash the bauxite. And what's really amazing is the Wenlock River is actually fresh water. So it's like taking drinking water. You can drink straight out from the Wenlock River. This is not responsible mining. All of these amazing ecosystems could be lost. If the mining takes place, it would look like this. Many scientists have visited the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve to research the wildlife and plants. We have had entomologists, hydrologists, and expert rainforest botanists, biologists, paleontologists, botanists, herpetologists, malacologists, ornithologists, geologists, zoologists, anthropologists, archaeologists, and ichthyologists. There has been research on plants like trigger plants, pitcher plants, bladderworts and a plant called the ant plant. There has also been research on wildlife like palm cockatoos, the endangered freshwater sawfish and the spear tooth shark, snails, saltwater crocodiles, file snakes, fish, frogs, crustaceans, bull sharks, antilopine kangaroos and the freshwater whip-tailed ray. Research also has been conducted on the water in the perched bauxite springs and the Wenlock River as well as artefacts and fossils found on the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve. 
This proves that the Steve Owen Wildlife Reserve is an extraordinary place that definitely needs to be protected. I am here with Terry Owen, owner of Australia Zoo and of the Steve Owen Wildlife Reserve for an interview about why the reserve should be protected. Thank you for your time, Terry. I'm very happy to be here, Robert. Okay. So what are the consequences if the mining company mines the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve? Well, on the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve, there's a bauxite plateau. And when strip mining occurs, it would take all of the bauxite out, destroying the plateau and the springs that emanate from it. Okay. So how would this affect the plants and wildlife on the reserve? Well, interestingly enough, even though the water coming out of the bauxite plateau is very acidic, there's a large number of frogs, crustaceans, and fish that live in this water, and rainforests that are fed by this water, so all of that would die. Okay, so wouldn't this then affect the Wenlock River that's in the Steve Owen Wildlife Reserve? It absolutely would affect the Wenlock River. Now, the Wenlock has the highest biodiversity of freshwater fish of any river in all of Australia. Wow. And the water emanating from that bauxite plateau represents about 20% of the water coming down the Wenlock River. Mm. So you can see the plateau goes, the springs go, it affects the Wenlock River. Yeah, so we definitely have to protect it, don't we? Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> Here is what some other important people have said about the Steve Owen Wildlife Reserve and why it should be protected. Senior Ranger Barry Lyon says, the bauxite plateau on the Steve Owen Wildlife Reserve supports an outstanding example of tall stringy bark woodlands and associated rare bauxite springs. They depend upon the bauxite geology to recharge their aquifer, the underground water supply. The area is ecologically diverse and of major conservation value. Strip mining would cause the loss of these values and the extinction of the springs. Professor Craig Franklin says that the fact that within its boundaries there is a mosaic of more than 30 different types of ecosystems provides an incredible opportunity for scientists to study unique habitats and an impressive array of plants and animals. My sister Bindi Irwin says, I want future generations to enjoy such beautiful wildlife and wild places as seen on the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve. We must protect this land for generations to come. The Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve is an amazing place that needs to be protected. Forget who I am, forget who my family is. This reserve needs protecting from mining for the next generation of Australians to appreciate, value and enjoy. So if you want to help save the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve, go to www.australiazoo.com.au and sign the petition. Thank you for your support.